Hello students, welcome back to Great Men Online Learning. I hope you all are doing well at your home and today we will be learning chapter 6 that is soil erosion and soil conservation. You know that soil is the uppermost layer of the earth. It supports plants which provide food to all living things on this planet. Thus, soil is called the foundation of all life on earth. Okay. And below the soil, there is solid rocks. Now, we will see how the soil was formed. When the earth was formed, there were only water, air and hard rocks. There was no soil. When the sun heated up these rocks, the rain cooled them and the wind blew over them. This continued for millions of years. As a result, what happened? The rocks broke up into small pieces and these pieces rubbed against each other till they become tiny particles of soil and for this process it took millions of years for this soil to make okay now we will learn the topic called soil erosion what is soil erosion so natural forces like wind rain and running water help in soil formation. There is a balance between the formation of soil and the loss of soil. Often this balance gets disturbed by human or by some of the natural forces. Then the top soil is removed from the surface of the earth. So what is soil erosion? Soil erosion is the condition of wearing off or carrying away of soil by the actions of water or wind. This is called soil erosion when the top soil is being removed or being taken off by water or wind. And as a result what happens? So the land loses its fertility. These are the effects of soil erosion in which land loses its fertility Land affected by soil erosion cannot produce enough feed because the soil is being blown away. So, it cannot produce enough feed for all the living beings who live on it and farmers reap poor harvest. So, they are also being affected by it. So, what are the agents responsible for soil erosion? This is running water. It causes soil erosion. Wind causes soil erosion also human beings causes soil erosion first we'll see how running water causes soil erosion as you can see in the figure heavy rain causes floods and flooded rivers and running water remove the topsoil running water also washes the soil off from the hill slopes and this makes the slopes unfit for cultivation. As you can see there are two examples given of river Kosi in Bihar and Wang Ho river that is also called Yellow river in China. So, uh, Wang Ho river is also called sorrow of China. Why? Because it changed its course every often and this resulted in loss of life and property. Same in Bihar the river Kosi which changes its course frequently caused great havoc in the year 2008 when lakhs of people were affected. Okay, next we will see wind causes soil erosion. In desert and semi-desert region where strong wind blows, a lot of so topsoil is being carried away. So, this affects the farmer because manure which they put in the soil to increase the fertility is also being blown away with the topsoil. 
okay so quite often the roots of the plant loses their soil cover and the plants may die and sometimes you can see the soil erosion causes by wind can cause this type of rock formation next is human beings causes soil erosion how human beings can lead to soil erosion roots of trees and plants hold the soil together okay and felling of trees or deforestation means cutting down the trees on large scale these are the major cause of soil erosion when trees are cut down the soil becomes loose and it's it is easily carried away okay second is that plowing of hill slopes it is the another human factor that leads to soil erosion in which soil becomes loose and overgrazing by cattle this also leads to soil erosion now we will learn the steps to conserve the soil first we will see what is soil conservation the protection of soil against soil erosion is called soil conservation and it is our responsibility to preserve and protect it so we cannot stop natural forces like wind and water from causing soil erosion however soil can be conserved by controlling the actions of these agents of erosion okay and this can be done in number of ways it can be done on flat and open ground we will see that on hill slopes and on fields near rivers what all things we can do so on flat and open grounds after harvesting and before raising the next crop the fields lie bare okay and this is when the wind blows and the to wind and the top soil is gone so to prevent the soil from getting blown away farmers grow crop cover crops such as grass and creepers okay so the roots of plants of these cover crops hold the soil particles together and prevent them from being blown away that's why overgrazing of cattle should be discouraged at these fields and trees and bushes are also grown along the boundary of the field they can act as a shield against strong winds and the roots of trees and plants hold the soil together that's why the trees and bushes can be grown along the boundary of the fields next on hill slopes cutting the hill slopes into steps or terraces can reduce soil erosion as you can see in the figure steps slow down the flow of water okay as the water flow slows down some of the soil from one step is left on the next step reducing the amount of soil lost so this can be encouraged the slopes can be cut down into steps or terraces and afforestation or growing more trees can be encouraged it is the another effective method of soil conservation on hill slope the people should be encouraged to grow more and more trees next on the fields near rivers what happens during monsoon many river overflow and flood the fields so to prevent floods embankments along the river banks can be built what are embank embankments these are the wall along the river bank as you can see in the figure these can be made ne along the river banks which holds the water between the banks and prevents soil erosion so these were some of the measures which can be taken to conserve the soil now we will see what all things we have studied that soil is the foundation of all life on earth the wearing down and carrying away of soil is called soil erosion erosion is caused by natural and human factors the protection of soil against soil erosion is called soil conservation and soil can be conserved by growing cover crops in plains by making terraces or steps on hills and by building embankments along the river banks so 
this was the end of the chapter i hope you must have understood the topics now the assignment related to the chapter exercises and question answers can be found below in the description box till the time study at home stay safe take care of yourself thank you